All right, back with Mayhem in the Mountains, Team Wad. We're going to say the girls, Elizabeth, Isabel, and Fran. Now, the setup of the day of the event will be a little bit different in the room, but all these, event, all these uh, portion of the event will be done inside the room. So we're going to say to start with, Elizabeth is going to be a power Elizabeth. So you're going to have the uh, choice of power clean or squat clean. Depends on the person's preference, but either or are going to be good. Series is going to be 21-15-9. Clean, power or squat clean, and then ring dips. Um, we're going to take that with a continuously running clock. So we're going to give you the clock. Three, two, one, go. Person one, whoever that is, and you're going to have the choice. Each person of the three-person team is going to perform one of the girls. Once they perform that wad, then they cannot perform another wad. So partner one or person one of team one does Elizabeth. As soon as they finish Elizabeth, last rep of nine, then they are going to move over. They are going to tag off at the next bar to partner two, who is then going to begin Isabel. 30 snatches, ground to overhead. As soon as that partner finishes Isabel, then they are going to run to the next partner, which will still be inside the room, and they will tag off to partner three, who will then complete 21, 15, nine reps of thrusters and pull up, known as Fran. As soon as partner three finishes Fran, then that will be the time component for the day. That is how your score will be made. So not each individual person uh, posting a score, but as a whole, all three partners uh, total time uh, elapsed during all three watts, okay? All right, as we go through Elizabeth, Elizabeth Sanders, for the power clean or the squat clean, we're going to say that ground to shoulders or front rack position. It can be choice of power clean or it can be squat clean. Your choice depends on the preference of the competitor. Before the rep can be counted as a rep, elbows must be in front of the bar, knees must be open, hips must be open, counted as a rep. Back to rep number two. Rep number two, bar down. Common faults, common faults are going to be, as we increase speed, as we see, the barbell will be up and we take the barbell out of the front rack before our hips open and our knees open. So let's take a look at and hips and knees aren't open. Other common faults are going to be elbows not going in front of the bar. So judges for the event will be watching elbows in front of the bar. Couple reps, elbows never stay in front of the bar. Come right here, Bruce. Elbows never make it in front of the bar before the bar goes back to the ground. Doesn't count as a repetition. For the ring dip, and again, we say that the, ring, this, the room will have a different setup. You'll be a little bit closer to your bar the day of, but ring dip, can be kipping, can be any type of strict ring dip that you choose, but ring dip is going from shoulder below the elbow and then full extension of the elbow, chest high at the top. And good. Common falls are going to be cutting the rep short by not having shoulder below the elbow and then at the top, not opening up to full extension. Okay? All right, as we move into Isabel, Isabel ground to overhead. Again, choice depends on the competitor. Every wide, uh, we go back to Elizabeth, wide start on the standard of you got to have before the wide, before the three, two, one, go, everything has to be open hips. Cannot have your hands on the bar, cannot be bending over towards your bar until we give you the go. So that'll start the wide with Elizabeth. As soon as partner one goes over, tags off to partner two. Partner two can now begin Isabel, ground to overhead. Again, go back to the same, same uh, characteristics of standards. Must have open knees, open hips, open shoulders, press out. It should be limited with Isabel, but as we fatigue, press out is going to be a factor. So press out is going to be acceptable, but it cannot be a clean and a jerk to go ground to overhead. It has to be a snatch with minimal press out. So we look at a couple reps, ground to overhead. Open hips. Very nice. All right, tag off. 30 reps. Ground overhead. Isabel. Again, power or squat. Tag off. 
begins Fran. Next person begins Fran. Fran being old fashioned Fran. First rep can be a squat clean, pass the hip through the knee, all the way open, full extension at the top, finish the repetition. We're not going to say it needs to require crossfit neck, but it has to be finish the rep, straight arms, barbell is over your instep or heel of the foot. Okay, let's see a couple quality reps of the thruster. Hit below the knee, judges watch the standard, make sure we break the plane. All right, barbell down. And then pull ups. Pull ups will make sure standard full extension at the bottom. And then at the top, chin is above the bar, it is not a chin to the bar. So judges should work and watch. Chin, does it go above the bar? Kipping or strict or and or butterfly, choice up. Grip, matter. And done. Chin above the bar.